Hey, what's going on, guys? This is James Burst with another video for POC, POC, Point of Conversation. And today's POC, POC, Point of Conversation is part two of the four-part series for truth. And the scripture we are coming to you today from is Galatians 4, 16. And Galatians 4, 16 is going to be tied into last, last week's, which was John 8, 32, and ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. So if you haven't seen that, go see that one because it was tied into the video for Pac that was titled Power versus Powerful. So and ye shall know the truth. When you know the truth, you have power. And now it's something that's added. And the truth shall make you free. You are made free. Now you're powerful. Why? Because you took what you knew and you applied it. So Knowing the truth is the power. Applying the truth makes you powerful. That's how those tie in. So now, let's get into it. Galatians 4, 16. Am I now therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Say it one more time and think about that. And think about John eight thirty two, And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. And how knowing that truth. Is power and applying that truth has made you free is powerful. Am I now therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Everyone cannot and is not capable of receiving what God has said through you. More importantly, remember and hone in on this and really listen to this. You do not have control over how people respond to the words you are supposed to say. Say it one more time. You do not have control over how people respond to the words you are supposed to say. When you tell someone the truth. Or when you are speaking truth, regardless, how people respond does not determine anything about you necessarily. It's a reason for you to be mindful of who they are and to watch because they have just told you who they are by how they respond to the truth that you have just revealed. Now, that being said, take a moment to think about that and understand and have clarity. Your job is to say the words. Whatever that truth is, whatever that revelation is, whatever the spirit of the truth, the spirit of truth, when it has come and has given you and God has given you a word to speak and you speak that and you make enemies. They have revealed who they are to you. Take that information. Take that truth. And let that truth make you free. Apply it. That will give you power. Knowing that truth about them. Applying that truth about them will make you powerful. That's how all of those tie in together. So telling someone the truth. Yes, you will make enemies. That is going to happen because you do not have control over how people respond. But remember, now this is from me, this is my quote. You are built for this. That's my quote, I'm built for this. You are built for the truth that you are supposed to say. You are built for that. Speak that truth and understand and have that clarity that everybody is not going to respond well. Everybody's not going to receive that truth. Your job is to say the words. That's it. You are built for this. Say the words. Let God handle the rest. So if you guys haven't, check out the other videos that I made before this. John 8, 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That's one. The one that comes before that is power versus powerful. Knowing the truth gives you power. The truth making you free and applying that truth makes you powerful 
So with that being said, am I now therefore become your enemy because I have told you the truth? Yes. Be mindful, be aware, have spiritual discernment. That's all for today. Thank you guys for tuning in for this POC point of conversation. Till next week. That's all for today. Shalom, everybody.